Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, season three has now been out for a week and with it, they've changed a lot of things. They've added in new weapons, they've adjusted other weapons, and with that, the meta of Warzone changes. And what I'm going to be doing is every time there's a new season or season reloaded, once weapons are adjusted, I'm going to be uploading a video with the best loadouts for those individual seasons. So if you would like these type of videos, they help you out. It's always appreciated if you hit that like button. But one thing that I have done in the past and I'm going to continue to do is whenever new weapons are added to the game, whether or not they are meta or not, I like to give a best loadout for those in these videos as well. So not only are these going to be the best weapons and the best loadouts for you to use within Warzone, they're also going to include the new weapons as well, which include the new sniper and battle rifle. And both of them are actually really good in Warzone. So as it turns out, these do happen to be meta weapons this season. So without further ado, let's dive into the game and talk about the five best loadouts currently in Warzone 2. So right away, let's dive into our first loadout. I'm going to start off with lethals, tacticals, and perks that I'm using. I always use the same perks with overkill, double time, resupply, and high alert. Double time, you move a little faster. Resupply, you get your nades, stims, whatever you're using back. And high alert, probably the most important, lets you know when someone's looking at you. I play a lot of solos, and because of that, it is very, very important to make sure that you are using something like high alert. So when people are looking at you, the time to kill is so fast that you need to be alerted pretty much instantly. As far as lethals and tacticals, I use a throwing knife. If I'm playing on Almazra, I might switch it up for a drill charge. I use a heartbeat sensor because like I said, I play a lot of solos. If you're playing quads or things like that, smokes might be a little bit better. But as far as our first class here, we have the TAC-56 and we have the PDSW. The TAC-56 did catch a nerf in season three. However, it is still really good. It just has such low recoil, such good control and such good damage. There's no point in not using this weapon. The PDSW is just a bullet hose. It is fun to use. And if you haven't given this one a shot, I really highly recommend it. It's not my favorite SMG. We'll get to that later, but it is up there. As far as our TAC-56, I am using the FSS Combat Grip, the 40 round mag, the high velocity, and the Edge 47, and finally the Echoless 80. This is a little bit different than my season two video. As far as the tunes go with the Echoless 80, I'm gonna go for aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. The reason for this is the recoil is so good with this weapon as is. You don't need to kind of help it out that much. So go for those aim down sights, make it a little bit more maneuverable. The Edge 47 grip, we have recoil stabilization. We're making up some of that from our last attachment and aiming idle stability. Um, aiming walking speed just isn't that important with assault rifles. It's much more important when you're using SMG. So not too important here. High velocity rounds. I'm going to go damage range of bullet velocity, but not too much. Don't ro ruin that recoil too much. Uh, and then finally, our FSS combat grip. This one, we have recoil steadiness and aiming stability. We've already made up for that ADS speed, so we're going to make that recoil a little bit better here. As far as our PDSW, since we're using this with a weapon that's good at long range, we are making it and building it for close range, which means a lot of sprint out times, a lot of ADS times uh, are going to be improved. So first of all, to start out with our VLK laser 7 megawatt, we have sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed improved. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of that with our muzzle here. This is where we're going to make up for our recoil stabilization and gun kick control. I pretty much go all the way on gun kick control. Um, this is where you're getting that improved um, recoil stabilization and things like that. Um, we have our overpressure round, which we're going to go for recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness. This is going to help you up close because your targets are going to flinch a little bit more and you're going to have the better aim. Our Bruin Q900 grip. This one we have aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed improved. Like I said, we're going to do this on a lot of attachments. And finally, our TV tack comb. Uh, aiming walking speed, as I said, you're going to want to improve that on only your short range weapons and aim down sight speed pretty much all the way up there. This is an incredibly versatile class really easy weapons to use. And if you're not that great at Warzone, this is one of the classes we're gonna talk about that I highly recommend using. Getting into a little bit more difficult to use territory, we have the new sniper rifle, which is the FJX Imperium and the Chimera. Now, I'm not saying that the FJX is the best sniper rifle, but it is the new one. And you can kind of interchange the attachments we use here for any other sniper. And it's going to do the same kind of thing with this build. If you hit the head, you're going to down someone. 
So the important attachment for that one is the explosive rounds. As far as the tuning here, we're going to go pretty much all the way with damage range and bullet velocity. And our muzzle, we have the F-Tag Reaper. As far as this one goes, uh, we're going to improve our aimed on sight speed because recoil smoothness doesn't really matter that much with sniper rifles. And we're going to improve the bullet velocity just a little bit because idle stability does matter when it comes to sniper. That's kind of like how much your sniper moves around when you're looking down it. After this, we have the Ceros 22. Uh, as far as this one goes, we are going to go with aim walking speed because, again, recoil doesn't matter and damage range up a bit, but you don't want to ruin your aim down sight speed too much for those mid range fights. The VLK laser, that's going to once again improve our sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. And as far as your optic goes, you can use whatever you're comfortable with. I like the 6.6X, uh, but as far as this one goes, we're going to improve the aim down sight speed. And I always, always choose the furthest possible distance for the eye position. Now, the weapon that we're using using this with is the Chimera. I recommend using this weapon with essentially every single sniper class, this or the ISO Hemlock. I don't have an ISO class setup in this video. It's still really good, but it did catch a nerf, so it's not as good as it was. But the reason why I choose the Chimera is it's good at mid range. It's good at short range. It has good mobility. It basically makes up for an SMG and an assault rifle, and you can use it with a sniper rifle. So that's why we're using this one. As far as what we're using here, first of all, the Bruin GR. As far as this one goes, we are going to tune for recoil steadiness and then sprint to fire speed, because keep in mind, we're using this like an SMG. Uh, then we have our 45 round mag. Basically, you're going to want to use this with a bigger mag. Mag, even in solos, I find I run out of ammo a lot. After these, the Schlager Tango Underbarrel, we're going to improve the hip walking speed here just because the hip recoil control doesn't move that much. So you're going to want to move a little bit faster and then aim down sight speed because, again, we're using this like an SMG. Then we have the Sack and Tread 40. As far as this one goes, this is for recoil. We're going to improve our recoil stabilization and gun kick. This is for those mid range gunfights. And then finally, we have the SA Phoenix Barrel. Again, recoil steadiness and aim down sight speed. Because I'm using it with a sniper, you can go even heavier on the aim down sight speed. Use it even more like an SMG. It depends what gunfights you're getting on and whether you're playing on El Masra or Ashika Island. Overall, this is just a good sniper with good sniper support. Pretty plain and simple. So real quickly, before we dive into the next class, I just wanted to say if you are playing a lot of Call of Duty, playing a lot of Warzone, maybe your eyes are getting a little tired. Maybe they're getting a little bit red. That is where partner of the channel Gamer Advantage comes in. The glasses that I'm wearing here are exactly what they sell. They are blue light glasses. They protect your eyes. They make it easier to play for longer. They make you play better. And on top of that, they're actually going to help you sleep at night. So you can wake up the next day, game all over again, protecting your eyes. So if you want to check them out, you can use my code INC at checkout if you're getting some glasses, save yourself 10%. And of course, you help support the channel as well. Our third class here, we have the Cronin, which is our new weapon within season three, alongside with the Vaznev. The Vaznev is just really good, packs a lot of punch. It's not my favorite short range weapon, but it's really good. Um, as far as the Cronin goes, this weapon I am going to be using only in semi-automatic mode. I don't like it fully automatic. You may disagree with me, but personally, that is what I like. So I pretty much use this like a battle rifle, sniper rifle kind of combination. Uh, it's going to take four-ish bullets to down someone. If you hit headshots, it could be a little bit less. If they're a little too far, it could be a little bit more. But that general idea is kind of what you're looking at. So for this, I like the VLK4 optic. This is just my favorite optic in the game. We're going to improve the aim down sight speed a little bit. Um, but I do use this at mid-range so I don't want to completely negate the flinch resistance and then always that far eye position. After this, I'm using a 30 round mag just because the magazine's really small. Then high velocity. You're going to see a lot of high velocity and we're going to go bullet velocity and damage range for sure on this one because this is our long range weapon. And then the edge 47 grip, you're going to see this attachment a lot. Just improved recoil stabilization and then aiming idle stability. The reason for that is because again, this is our long range weapon. Finally, we have the ZLR Talon 5. With this one, you're going to improve the recoil smoothness and once again, bullet velocity for our long range weapon. Then for a Vaznev, for this one, you can pretty much replace this with any of the SMGs that we're going to be talking about. But as far as this one goes, I do like using it a little bit at mid range with the Cronin. However, it is going to be your SMG. So we're tuning a little bit more for that. So first of all, our true tack grip, you're going full on sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed on this one. The Markev R7 stock. 
with this one once again aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability just because aiming walking speed doesn't matter too much and we are going to be using this at mid-range a little bit the 45 round mag then we have the cast 381 barrel with this one you're going to go aim walking speed and aim down sight speed because again this is our close range weapon and then with our laser we are using the fss ole 5 laser and as far as this one goes sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed just like you see with a lot of our smgs i will tell you right now the cronin takes a little bit to get used to it's not as easy to use as like the TAC 56 like we looked at before, like the M4 that we're going to look at in the future. Um, but as far as this weapon goes, it hits really, really hard. You just have to hit your bullets and then just use it with whatever SMG you're comfortable with. This is a good one, but all of the other ones we're going to talk about are good as well. Speaking of which, this is my favorite class setup. It is a little bit more difficult to use. However, it is really good. This is my favorite SMG. We got the MP5 or the Lockman. And then also we have the cast off 762. As far as the cast off goes, it has a lot of recoil, but it hits really, really hard. So what we're going to do is tune the weapon to improve the recoil, make it better. And then all of a sudden, this thing that hits really hard is very, very usable. If you're better at Warzone, this is a weapon you're going to want to give a shot. It hits really hard and is really fun to use. So as far as what we're using here, 40 round mag and then high velocity once again, improving the damage range and bullet velocity, but not too much because, again, the recoil on this thing is pretty high. After this, we have the Edge 47 Griff. This is where we're going to improve our recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability because this is our long range weapon. Then we have the Zulu 60 muzzle. As far as this one goes, aim down sight speed and bullet velocity. It's your choice. If you use this weapon and you still find it has too much recoil, um, improve that recoil smoothness a little bit. But for me, I personally didn't need it. Then we have the aim op V4 for the sights. You're going to go the furthest position and then aim down sight speed. So again, this thing has a lot of recoil. If you can control it, it's amazing. If you can't control it, try adjusting your attachments a little bit, a little bit more for recoil control. But this is what I found worked best. Then my favorite SMG, it's still the MP5. This thing is getting nerfed left and right. But in my opinion, it is still good. It's a bullet hose. It downs people so quickly. And for some reason, I just love the iron sights. I love the way it feels. So what we're using on this one, it's not as good as it used to be, but what we're using is the VLK laser. Uh, this one, we're going to go sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, just like you've expected. The Falcon barrel, this one, we're going to go recoil steadiness. That's going to where you're going to make up some of your recoil and then aim down sight speed. Um, this one, I am 100% using up close and personal. So again, those damage ranges aren't as important. With the lock grip, we're going to hip walking speed because I don't really fire from the hip that much and aim down sight speed. And then finally, we have the Lockman TCG 10. As far as this one goes, once again, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. This is an up close and personal weapon. So any class that you have a, an assault rifle that is good at long and mid range, this is the gun you're going to want to use as your secondary or one of them that you can choose. Yeah, I'm dead to that. I knew it too. You're not good, bro. And then the underrated class, the what class that I don't see a lot of people using, but I really highly recommend. I think the M4 gets overlooked a lot because of the TAC 56. However, the M4 is a bullet hose and it kills people, downs people really, really quickly and is very good. Uh, the MX-9 ca caught some buffs within season three. So with that, it has become a lot better, very maneuverable. There is one problem with it, though, and we'll look at that in a second. So as far as what we're using here, the Echoless 80, this one, we're going recoil smoothness and bullet velocity for those long range gunfights the edge 47 grip once again recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability the high velocity rounds this one i went damage range of bullet velocity i don't find the recoil bad on this thing so i didn't need to improve that so i just made it shoot further and then again the aim op v4 this one we are going aim down sight speed and the far eye position as you can see here this is a really good gun give it a shot if you haven't tried it already i think you're really gonna like it and then we have the mx9 so this one is all about maneuverability if you like running around you like up close and personal give this gun a shot so with this we we're using the f tac c11 riser as far as this one goes i am going to improve the recoil stabilization and then aim down sight speed the aim down sight speed is already really good but we're making it better uh the bruin we are using the sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed for our up close weapons the one problem with this gun is the largest magazine size that you can use is 32 rounds 
If it had a bigger one, this thing would be way better. Uh, but I play solos a lot, so it's actually okay. So this is actually one of the better weapons up close that I use. Now, as far as your sights here, I just don't like the iron sights. If you don't mind them, you can use something else like a laser, improve that aim down sight speed a little bit more. But my tuning here is aim down sight speed and the far eye position once again. And then the Bruin barrel, this one, aim walking speed, aim down sight speed. This is an up close and personal weapon and it's really, really fun to use. So those are the top five metal loadouts for season three. You will see with each class, we have a long range and mid range weapon and then a short range weapon. If not, we have a long range like a sniper and then a mid to short range weapon. You can kind of take any of those weapons that you like and interchange them based off of how you want to play. But like I said, that's what I use. Those are, in my opinions, the best tuning. If you use something else, let me know what you think down in the comments. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe, turn notifications on if you want to stay up to date. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this to us.